Rabbi Schneider, it's good to hear from you. Maybe you have a few words. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about uh, Chikulimashis, the first story. The king is Hashem. He has six sons, according to Western theology, the six Tadiki Kaimish that have the same Nishama, Nishabeno, Rajbi, Biari, and Mashiach. Now, the daughter who stands for Amuna is stolen. In other words, we don't have enough Amuna in our Tadikim. The Christians and the Muslims and the Buddhists, they have more Amuna in their Tadikim. They stole it from us. And it's the job of the Cheney the Melech, who is the true Ovid Hashem, to get the daughter back, back to her father, to get the Amuna back into the Amuna in the sixth Tadikim. Now, the Cheney the Melech, he eats the apple. That has to do with Amshur Barachoy and Iran, that there's a problem there, uh, like, we saw Hashem Yerachem. And the wine, the wine is uh, Spatz and Gary. At the Rebbe was in Eretz Yisrael. You signed to bring the Mashiach with uh, the Rashbi and the Ari, and it didn't work. And then it was discussed to him, the house of Zav, and the Mirta of Margolias was discovered to him, Hashem of the, the grave of Barshemta, the Mirta of Margolias, the grave of Rabbeinu HaKadosh. He talks, the Shemir Melech, he talks to the Mamuna and the Chayas. That's Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu says, it's not so. You're wrong. It can't be that the Tikkun is, is in Chutzla. The Tikkun has to be here in Etzel, in not in some place, uh, not in some God forsaken place in, in the Ukraine. So, the, the Moshe Benner doesn't agree. Then he talks to the Rashbi, the Mimona, and the Eiface, same conversation, he doesn't buy it. Then he talks to the Ari, the Memona and the Ruchais, no, he doesn't buy it. But the Rebbe says, this is what the story. The truth is that the real Rebbe Hashem, the Shani Rimelech, has to be with the Barsham of Rebbe Kodesh. With the Har Shazav, and the Mirza, Shemagol, Yishyava, Mishir, Tekenu, Vigerenu, Achshav, 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 Amen, Yemen, Yemen. Okay, the Shumer wants me to talk about my grandfather, Amisha Schneider, well, my mother. Y- Israel. Okay. Israel. Yeah. First, our, one of our listeners, one of our, wants to know, are you a Zionist? Yes, I am a Zionist. Uh, I would swear in the Secretary, but I have a little bit of uh, Yerush Shemayim. Yes, I believe that Herzl we talked about it the other day. The Mashiach has two belts. One belt is Amuna. Amuna is Tzedek plus Emes. It means the person has the right intention and the right Aloha, everything is 100%. The second God well, Wait a minute, Rabbi Schneider. You <laughs> mentioned Herzl. What do you say about Herzl? You should know. It's one of the, in the secret writings that have been censored of Rav Cook. He detests Herzl, Rab Cook. Rab Cook is entitled to his ideas, and Yisrael Schneider is entitled to his ideas. Dostia, Rab. Well, Israel. Yeah. You're going to tell about your family and Rab Cook a little bit. Okay. So I'm trying to say that Mashiach has two belts. One belt, Yisrael, uh, One belt. Is Amuna, which the Zohar says, is Tzedek, plus Emes, is 100% okay. And the other belt is Tzedek. Either 
I mean, that's not MS. Either he's doing the right thing for the wrong reason, or he's doing the wrong thing uh, with the right intention. So, designers, they have the right intention, they have said it, but they don't have MS. They don't believe in Hashem. They don't believe in his brother. But it makes a difference. They're on the belt of Mashiach. Without them, the gifts can't fall down. The Mashiach cannot he dressed properly unless he has two Chagurais, the 100% Jews of the Amona, and the people with problems, either their intention is not, not right, even though they act right, or their intention is good, but they act wrong, they are on the belt of Mashiach, Herzl is on the belt of Mashiach. Okay, now you, you want to know about my family. The Kevin uh, Rosh Hashiva, the Rush Mordechai, Arab, Arab, Rosh Mordechai, F. Chain was in America. I'm not sure if he was called the Hebron Arab. I assumed it was a Spadi Arab, but maybe the made him the Ashkenazi Arab. This investigated, I don't know. In any case, he was the Hebron of Rosh Yeshiva. He was already in America, collecting money for his Yeshiva. Then it was decided that the Dvar of Ram, Arav of Ram, Dai, Kamu Tepira, the Kavna Rav, the Rav of Rashi of Lita, to come to America, make money together with the little Shemolechai. And my Zaydi, who was the master of the British, her baron, the Lita, the, um, the, he was the secretary of the Dvar of Ram. My mother remembers the Dvar of Ram. My mother said he was unbelievably nervous. He had some problem with his, uh, DNA exchange, and the book, a rather lonely Philistine book, they forced him to go. So, we have two Kohanim, we have two Kohanim, the book, and the Kovnerov, and we have three Avram, Avram does, Avram Yitzhak, Avram Yitzhak. They met together in trance somewhere, they got on a boat, hope to go to America, first class. We wanted to make a million dollars. Uh, I saw on some paper, a million dollars they didn't make, but $400,000 they did make, which is a, a lot, a lot of money. So, they are on the boat to America, my daddy to America, the Golden of Medina, then they're on the way to America, the Sheriff Shabbos, the Governor of and my daddy, one of the thousand coming to the room of a court, Air Shabbos, he's just in the Shabbos garden, in the Spadik, my mother said he always had five stones in his hand. It said by David Melech, he had five stones, my trailer, and some of the Kainu Hashem, and Echad. The five stones became one stone in the, by David Melech. So he took as five stones in, 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 in his hand. The whole time, he was away from Israel, five stones to my Israel to remind him of Israel. They come into a cook's room. A cook gives a drasha three hours about Kedushas, Eric Israel, Kedushas Hatoira, Kedushas Ambene Israel. Okay? It's time to dive in uh, Mincha. We leave uh, the cook's room. And the Ra, the Ra run turns to my grandfather and says, Wow. If somebody would tell me that the cook is Mashiach, I would believe it. Unbelievable, is Joshua. Okay. Uh, Israel. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, you're telling me your mother was there also. My, my, my. Okay, Rabbi Schneider, we had an interruption. Do you want to continue? Yeah. So what's happening? Wait a minute. Your, gra- your mother... Well, it must have been a young girl when she met uh, Rav Cook. Well, she never met Rav Cook, as far as I know. She's telling over what she heard from her father, Rav Aloni Tepalatin, that um, a few things. That most of the people who came to see the Rabbanim wanted to talk to Rav Cook. He's the most interesting uh, character. And that he held the five stones in his hand. And that the uh, covenant Rav was tremendously, the covenant Rav is now. Uh, Governor of the Okay, is the famous picture of a book 
which is Spudget. Uh, that picture was taken, if I'm not mistaken. We are on the way to, vi to visit the president of the United States of America then, Calvin Coolidge. That's the famous picture of a corpse with the Spudget. And the book talked to President Coolidge about the Balfour Declaration, what was the Americans' position, what was his position about the Balfour Declaration. There's a picture in the book's house on the whole of book. There's thousands of pictures. There's a picture of the governor of taking hands with President Coolidge. Okay, we made $400,000. Now what? I said, he was thinking, maybe I should stay in America. He sent the telegram to his father, the Gaon, um, Arab, Mullah Vigya, Parvashan, the Kavusa of the Ostomeach. He sent the telegram to his father, what should I do? His father was almost dead. He had, uh, he had diabetes. His foot was rotten. He, he went to Berlin. It took off, I think it was his right foot. Uh, and he's uh, lying in his bed with the six foot uh, being held up. And he's, he opens up and says, he learns 80 pages and he dies. So this, so this is happening uh, very close to the end. He died in Pekwish Pehei. He told him to send a telegram to the son of Amisak, if you're in America, stay there. That's how he was saved from the Holocaust. Most of the Patterson family was uh, destroyed in the Holocaust. One of his uh, cousins, I think, uh, maybe both Patterson, came to America, and uh, his uh, cousin, uh, Mr. Patterson, begged him to stay. He refused. He went back to Victor. He, he was murdered. In any case, so my daddy, in order to stay in America, he had to be accepted at the Rav. He was accepted at the Rav. In the festival of Kaidan, he was the Kaidana love in, in Dulwich, America, and um, he was praying in the Ila, and the people say it's enough. It, it, it's not when you say it's not that enough. So he got from the naval. He couldn't. He couldn't see his country of this full of smog, but when he went to the Tama Rockaway, he saw that the. Uh, but the Shia is most, much later than the people thought. He contacted the Naval Observatory. He needs the time when three stars, three, not big stars, and not small stars, Benyoni, Kohol and Benyoni, count out. The Naval Observatory says they don't know exactly what, uh, what, what does it mean, little stars. In anyway, they gave him a time. He published a Ruach every year based on the time of the, what the Naval Observatory uh, gave him. And, um, okay, that's all I can think uh, to say. He told me, my Zegia, that in heaven, his big zechus would be that he put out this ruach and he saved people from grabbing up the cigarettes when it wasn't the right time. He saved from Chil Chavez. That's his big zechus in his whole life. He was trying to discuss at the DTM, Tarzan Elena, Veniska, the BS Rashid, the Kayna, the Veneta, the Amen, 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 the